All right, so this is my pre-charge capacitor timing setup. So all we have is a power relay, timing relay, and a capacitor to run that relay and it's the capacitor's capacity that's uh, allowing the time for the capacitor to be open. So for an example, this is my pre-charge for the positive to connect to the capacitor. Doesn't matter how long I hold it down for, it's always going to be the same amount of flash. As you can see. So this is very simple. Basically, this needs a positive and negative to react. This needs a positive and negative to react. I have two positives coming off the battery, two negatives. The negative to everything is always connected. The negative to here, the negative to that relay, and the negative to the capacitor. The only thing I'm controlling is a positive, the two positive lines. First, I connect, I press this, and that's just allowing the positive from the battery to flow to the capacitor, and that's it. Once that's shut off, this is charged up. Once I press the pedal, the pedal allows the capacitor to drain into uh, the relay. The relay is already still connected with the battery with the negative, so then it allows these two posts to connect, which is one of the positive lines, which is then activating power relay. I'll just put my phone down here for a second, my camera, and I will quickly swap out the capacitor and you'll see the time difference. See the flash here? I'll move that a little more so you can see it. Now watch when I change the capacitor, how much the timing is going to change. I always do negative on the left. I'm draining the capacitor. So I know it's not going to be charged. No shockies. The volts we're talking about ain't going to be conductive to meaningless. So you can see the difference in the flash. How much longer it's on. So I hope that's perfectly clear. Sorry for moving the camera around a bunch, but everything's continuously connected with a negative and we're just controlling the positive and that's controlling the timing. All right, cheers.